out. Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and today I have F Toy Singapore Airlines 1500 scale model of different jet airliners. And what is really cool about this is that this is actually a Singapore Airline. It's a actual licensed product, and F Toys they bring out amazing scale model collections. Like they they come from World War II tanks, and they even have scale models of bugs. I really like F Toys because this is good for beginners. So if you're looking to start a new hobby, or if you're trying to get into the scale model hobby, um, I really suggest this for you because. This is RT painted. You don't need to paint anything else. Well, if you have an actual scale model, like a real real, it'd be this big, and it'd be by a big name brand like Tamiya or Avell. And once you open the box, you're gonna be like, whoa. So if you look at this, we have all these spruces here, and basically you need to paint it and glue it all by yourself, and you're gonna be like, this is really overwhelming, so I really suggest F Toys because they only have, most of the time, they only have four or five pieces in a simple model. Just like this. So, let's get into making this. Alright, hey everybody, so look at me. It's, it's just hands. We're just going to have some hand commentary for now. So, just so you have a good look at the box. And. Let's get right on into this. So, oh yeah, one thing I should mention that all of F Toys <laughs> lines, they, I think it's really funny. It always has uh, gum inside it, and it's five calories, and it's just, just gum. So, uh, this is really satisfying. I like when you have to pull it up like that. And let's see what we get. Ooh, all right. Okay, that's just normal gum. It's like mint gum. All right. So this is the plan we got. We it looks like we got a, we got the number three, the Airbus three eighty, and it's just really simple, straightforward. It's oh snap! There's tape here. Okay. One thing that I always use for tools, I always have my handy spruce cutters. I also have my exacto knife. And I also use it to me as cement. Um, for these models, I use a thin cement because they're tinier pieces. If you want a more bigger pieces, I just go with their regular orange bottle cement. So let's cut that tape open. Okay. Always remember to put the cap on. I remember I <laughs> forgot to put the cap on and I accidentally cut myself, which a big owie. Not fun when you cut yourself. And ta-da! Take all the pieces. So let's go over the pieces. We have the main fuselage, nice Singapore Airlines, and it's really light. All right, now we get a stand piece, which we can just clip on in right now, just like that. <laughs> And we also have our right wing. Our left wing. Our 
So I have the front landing gear. Our and our wheels. Oh yeah, back landing gear. And we also have a decal sheet. So this this isn't stickers. You need to take this off and basically you cut it out and put it in water. And then once once that's done, you want to take either your if you have smaller fingers like me or if you're like an adult scale modeler you'd use pliers to put it on it just slides off of the paper and we have our back rudder back vertical stabilizer vertical stabilizers and our instruction Right here, pretty simple. So the first thing I'm probably gonna to wanna to do is put in our wings. And now, you see this right here? This is a spruce line that you wanna sand down or they'll either scrape it off with your knife. And one thing I tend to get with these is that I usually put cement in, but there's been some times where I put too much pressure and then this part is just stuck inside there and it's broken. So I'm gonna wanna hollow that out a little bit and also wanna smooth this down with my knife. And so it goes for the same over here. You can see that, kinda see that seam line right there. So let's take our knife and be very careful with this part. I've stabbed myself multiple times in the fingers. So you always want it cutting away from you and you don't want your fingers like this. And there we go. We got it smoothed down now. Doesn't poke your fingers anymore. And you see this residue on your knife here? You always wanna take that off. Okay. Now I'm gonna kind of cut out a little bit more inside here so it'll have a little bit more nicer fit. Okay, now we're fine to cement in our piece with just Tamiya's standard extra thin cement. And do note, um, I wouldn't suggest doing this in like your kitchen because it has a pretty high odor to it. Very chemical, it's not really good to breathe this in normally. So don't, I don't encourage you to try to breathe it in, which you probably shouldn't. <laughs> so now you just kind of want to slightly put it in. Don't want to put too much force like what I did there or the stem might break off. And then if you feel like it's not in there really tight, you can just go around the seams like this, but you don't want to make sure when you're doing it, you don't want to have it all like this because you just kind of want to scrape it up so there's not that much glue and the paint doesn't smear. And then this glue, it basically just melts the plastic and then it bonds it back together. So this should just melt and then bond. So we have a tight fit. And you remember, I always wanna tight that on really well because you don't want this to be spilled everywhere. All right, so we got our left wing in. It's starting to look like a plane now. All right, now time for our right wing. Again, we wanna take, let me get the knife. Oh, okay. And we want to smooth this out again. All right, now we got that smoothed down. Now it's time to smooth down the hole. All righty. Now, time to cement it in. And 
and you want to do this quick because the thin cement it starts to take its shape really really fastly but Samia also launched a new glue it's like the extra extra thin cement it's basically very fast bonding all right Okay, now that we got the two wings in, now it's looking like a plane. <laughs> All right, the next part that we should do is probably put in our vertical stabilizers. So this one's the right, and this one's the left. And here's where our smooth cutters will take in place. You wanna get in there tightly. like that and then once you've got a firm cut on it you kind of want to just push it a little and then you see that right there it's like really really not getting off what you want to do is just cut it really hard like that and then you may notice oh my gosh there's a little spruce mark on there well you can either sand that down or put it with your knife so I personally like to do it with the knife because you don't have like a little knob left with the sandpaper. Alrighty, and there we go. Now let's cement this right in place. So this one is the right one. I don't, we don't really need any cutting inside there because it's got a little notch right there. That will match up with this notch. And we don't want to do anything to that, or else it might not fit in there quite nicely. And one thing, epic fail. So one thing with the cement that you should know is that it smears off any paint. And I just realized I just smeared some paint on top of the fuselage, but this side, it's not that noticeable, but when you look on top, not looking too good. <laughs> so that's one thing that you should really know about the cement. So we're going to be really careful back here. I'm not going to put any excess glue on the sides because we don't want that smearing off with a fingerprint on there. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take this cement right here and I'm just going to go along this side. Just like that. And then I'm also gonna wanna clean it off right there so it doesn't get on the paint. And then we just put it in there. It fits in just like that. And then I'm gonna probably want this to settle just for like 10 seconds because look i already got some paint on my finger and if i were to know that not know that i would just smeared it on the blue and gold part and then it would not look pretty and i think that's about enough and now let's do this other side for the left vertical stabilizer Stickers with cutters. I want to just gently squeeze it so it makes a little notch like that. And then, since this is the left one, it's going to be a little bit of a pain to try to get it out. But there we go. Here we have this. And so there we go, smooth now. Now let's put our cement on. Just on the sides like this.
and a little on the notch. And now it's ready to put in. And there we go. Got our vertical stabilizers on now. Let's wait three more seconds. One, two, three. And now that's good to go. Now next I'm gonna put on is this tail. It's very nice painted with its gold and its blue, the rudder. Very nicely molded for a 1500 scale model. And what I mean by that, it's basically you take this and if you blew this up 500 times, it would be the actual Airbus 380. So even though I didn't have to take it off of a spruce, the ma a machine did that already. It looks like there's a little bump in there, but it's actually not it's very, very smooth. So we should be able just to cement it in. Take our cement. And we'll get your little tip blue. You want to smear that off right after when you're done with this part. And when I do that, I just brush it off like that. And then you want to make sure you just rub it in because if I put my hands on it, on the actual plane, it will <laughs> be blue at that part, but it should be good to put in now. And there we go. Now that we got the complete picture of a, the Airbus 380, this would be, <laughs> this is actually really cool without the landing gear on. But let's go ahead and put the landing gear together. So on the instructions here, it talks about right here when you need just this one piece, but this one, it's a multi-piece with, you need to put the wheels on and then so basically this right here just talks about this part and these two are just one piece so let's go ahead and put it together let's put the back landing gear on we'll take that off just with our spruce cutters and this kind of spruce right here I hate when F toys does this sorry F toys but you can see the spruce inside is so tight. You're gonna need like um, a better than this because you see how tight that is. I can only get it so there's a big knob in. All right, so I'm just gonna try to break this off and I'm gonna smooth it down with a knife. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, got that broken and we got this ugly looking plastic piece right there and then what I do with this once we've got that side down I just move it around so look at this we've got no mark on this side we've got this ugly plastic piece right there so let's go ahead and do the other one There we go. Now, what I do with this, I'd usually sand most of the piece off if this was a bigger scale. But since it's just like this, I'd just take my knife and then div it down. You wanna make sure, you see with my finger? Do not do that. You're probably, if you miss, you're gonna cut yourself. So I suggest doing it like this. And then you should, if you loosen up the joint, you should be able to try to just break it off like this. See?
Now let's do it this with this one. Stand that upright. <laughs> Okay, now that we got that joint loosened, my hands have these little divots in it from the wheels. So let me just let my hand. So when you're holding it down a lot like this, what you wanna do is get, just push all the blood up to your thumb or your finger or whatever. Then it feels normal, so you can try to bend it down now. Just like that. And there we go. So now, let's glue these in to the actual plane. And I believe this part goes, just right these two, and these two holes right here. Oops, I was tightening it. <laughs> then I just want to put it in the hole there. Okay, now time to glue these in. Just perfectly. I just want that to settle. This part I put too much glue in, so it's starting to sink, sink in. What you wanna do is take it out and you gotta level it to the other one that you didn't put too much glue in. Just like that and put it down like that. And then just wait for that to glue. And then in the meanwhile, while we're having this glue, we're gonna make this part right here that goes the landing gear in the wing. All right, so we have these two right here, and this is for this one. And then you just wanna put, glue the individual wheels on. And then this is the front landing gear. So our spruce cutters. This is another tight mold injection. Wait, we got it. And there we go. Now that one, this one's the right. So that should mean this one should go just right here. Now, we'll take our spruce cutters again, and we'll cut out these tiny wheels. So we need four, so four, four, and they give you an extra set, which I really like, because I remember on one of my other scale models that I did, it had wheels, and I lost one of the wheels, so now it's just a three-wheeled car. But I like how they give you spares, which is really good. These are very delicate pieces and they just break off like that because they're so, so tiny. Oop. There we go. Now let's take our cement. Just glue each individual little peg.
Uh-oh. Looks like I didn't put enough cement on. I guess I should just put cement in the wheel too. Now I gotta do this really fast before it dries up and becomes just stringy pieces of plastic. And you can see the paints coming off on my finger. So now, what is like this, I gotta do this really fast. So I always have napkin on standby and you always wanna start to get that out. But you see, I waited too long and I should have just got the napkin before. So don't do what I'm doing, kids. <laughs> And this, it will take about like, just only like one and a half days. If you like really try to get it off, I bet you can get this off in like 20 minutes, but this will at least stay on your finger for one day. <laughs> and so instead of that, what I just did there, where I got all this paint on my finger, I'm just gonna put lots and lots of cement on the tiny peg. There we go. And let's just wait that to dry for a little bit. Oh my goodness, okay. Need to put more cement on. I'm just gonna have to do it again. All right, now I'm gonna reinforce it even more with some more cement. And now before we do the other side, I'm gonna wait for that to dry a little bit and our back on here is pretty strong support. Should be good to go now. So let's go ahead and just glue in our front landing gear. So you want it just like that. Let's do a test fit. Looks like it won't go in all the way. So we're gonna have to hollow out that hole with our knife. Press smooth down the edge. So I started right here at the door. So I'm gonna have to spin around one more time. So I stop right at the door right there. And that should be an even hole now. And then we'll just push that in with the front landing gear. Then let's just reinforce that with some more glue. All right, now while that's drying, this should be dried enough to put the two other wheels on. Oh, sorry guys. 
This order is very, very strong. Have a drop inside. Just like that. I gotta wanna act quick. I got more black paint on my fingers. <laughs> so now that's drying. This should take just one more minute to dry. Well, not one minute exactly, but like 10 seconds. Now, let's see. Okay, the left side, well, this right side right here is reinforced. Now I need to just do it with this side. All right, I'll just wait for that to be rock solid. All right, okay, it's pretty reinforced now and this should be good to put our right wing landing gear. And just like that. And I'm gonna have to hollow out that hole just a little bit more because there's like a little line inside. Oops! <laughs> All right. As you saw there, the wheels were starting to fall off because I put too much pressure on it, but now let's wait for that to glue. Looking really nice. Let's see. Good. Now, while that's drying, let's make the other, the wing landing gear. All right. Now this one, because the other one that I had, it starts to bend. So I'm just gonna loosen it up with the knife and then I'm gonna just try to bend it out. There we go. And now let's glue the wheels on. I'm just gonna do it with the knife now. All right, <clears throat> now time for more cementing. Now 
now let's do this other side. Now that was a lot of glue that I just put on. Okay. Looks like I was too slow on that, so maybe I should just try to do one at a time. Alrighty. Now for the last wheel. Hope this is a good one. Now let's wait for this. All right, now for that brief intermission, let's finally glue this on. Okay, here we go. The hole looks better than the other one, so I'm not really worrying about that. Oh my goodness, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, the wheel keeps falling off, but no biggie, we can just glue it on it. Of course, I just spilled some cement on me. There we go. Now let's reinforce that again. Okay. I just dropped that down violently, okay. <laughs> so now that we got more glue there, I wanna just tap that down. And there goes the wheel again. <laughs> okay, it looks like I'm a little bit too impatient with that. One thing that you, you have to have in scale modeling is patience, which is not a skill that I really have. <laughs> like if I order something online, I'm like, oh my gosh, just call me already, but you don't want to spend that extra money on get here faster. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, epic fail. The, when I was cutting it off, look, I cut the peg off with it, so I'm just gonna have to glue it on manually, but there's still a little bit in there, so it's like a little bit of guidance for me. But it should just fit on just like, if I had the steadiest of hands, maybe like that, yeah. At the time, I didn't put, put cement there. <laughs> and once I'm gonna let that dry, I'm gonna still reinforce the wheels again, even though it's not really looking very pretty on the bottom, because the main attraction will just be it sitting on the ground like that, or on the stand. Okay, it's been about a full minute and the glue is starting to set now. You can see there's still a little bit of a wobble, but in like the next 10 seconds, it should just freeze there. And normally when you get a small scale model like this, you don't wanna trust it for the first day to stand down. After the second day, you're probably gonna wanna put another coat of glue on and then you should be good to go. But if you did a lot of glue like me, the paint is not gonna really blend in well with it. So I really suggest just putting on a light coat if you made that mistake like me. So 
I'm gonna put it on the stand now. And looks like the stand is tilted this way. And we can't, it's not really adjustable. All right guys, so what I found out is that this stand, it is not stuck like that. You can actually just move it around like this to whatever position you want. My personal position is just like that. And it's a really nice scale model. If you just look down, it'll just look so majestic. And just the look at this thing. Um, F Toys did a really good job with this and congratulations to Singapore Airlines for their 50th anniversary. And the reason why you may see that I have a sticker sheet here. You're wondering, why don't you put it on? Well, I personally, I, I just like it just like this. So I decided not to put the decals on. They're just little codes. And the supplies that I used were just a little spruce cutter. Typical spruce cutter. And I had this exacto fine cut um, scalpel knife, really nice. And you can fit different blades with these. You just need to unscrew it in this part right here. So one tip on an unscrewing it, you know, lefty loosey, um, I personally just grip it like this with your middle finger on the little dial. And then you're not gonna wanna have sweaty hands like this that's been working on the scale model. <laughs> You just kind of want to twist it, just like that, but without sweaty hands. So, this is a really nice scale model. Honestly, I enjoy this a 4.5 out of 5. I really liked how they included the extra spare wheels right here, just in case if you lose or if you break them. And, yeah, it's just... A uh, really nice scale model. Again, there's there were two types. There's two types of each. One you can have. So basically, there's four different planes here. Um, five. So basically, there's two versions of the Airbus 380. I got the number three version, which is basically just its standard Singapore Airlines, like that. And the other one was just Singapore flag over. And then there's also the Airbus 350, which basically it's just a standard Airbus 350 and the 10,000th Airbus aircraft. And down here we have Boeing 777s, the Star Alliance or the regular Singapore Airlines. And I really like, um, oh yeah, it's 50, 51st, but because this they celebrated this in 2018, but they had their 50th anniversary like a few weeks ago. Which, I, if you didn't know, I love aviation. I love planes. <clears throat> and basically, it when I found this at the store, this was in uh, Mitsuba in California. This was, I just had to pick this up because I was so happy to see that this was a Singapore licensed product, Singapore Airlines licensed product with F-Toys. I... Again, I really like F-Toys, and they <laughs> always include gum, which is basically like this, and there. That's because it's in there. Well, it's hard shell. Just mint flavored. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a really nice scale model, and make sure to give me a big like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Turn on that bell so you never miss a video from me. And I'll see you in the next one. Most importantly, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.